Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 7th, 2019. So hey, as we open up Monday here, we've got an interesting market to take a look at. After two ugly, ugly sell-off days where we whipped down substantially and then reversing back up a full 800 points in just two days. Tremendous volatility here in the market. And what we've done is we've come right back up. So we, we were above the 50-day moving average, made a two-day trip, actually three-day trip down to test the 200-day moving average, with a two-day reversal right back up to the 50-day moving average. What a mess. And the volatility in this market is very, very difficult for a lot of traders to deal with because of these massive swings. So what happened? What created such a big rally? Well, first off, um, as I mentioned all last week, last week, that employment situation was going to be very important to the market. And it came in in just a really good place. It came in suggesting that pushing off the idea that there might be a recession early on in um, 2020, but was still light enough that kind of left the door open for the opportunity that the FOMC could still lower rates. So we have kind of that, um, well, what do I say, the perfect world, I guess, uh, and created a heck of a short squeeze on Friday, pushing uh, a lot of short traders out of the market very, very quickly in that sharp rally uh, on Friday. So now here we are right back up here in this uncertain zone. We're up here where we're testing price resistance levels. We're just right back above that 50 day moving average. Notice that our 50 day moving average is declining. That's still not a good sign. We could get back right back up here and of course turn that back around, but we still have to deal with all of this price resistance in the chart and the downtrend in the this chart so kind of keep that in mind even if we were to rally back right up into here a failure up in this area is still a possibility so let's watch that closely as we uh, kind of plan forward today now this morning the futures are pointing to just a slightly lower open which is uh, substantially off the, of the overnight lows. Right now, I'm looking at Dow Futures suggesting about a 50-point gap down this morning. Much better than 150 points that it was looking at earlier in the night. So kind of starting to um, show that, you know, a little bit of willingness to hang in here. And I wouldn't be at all surprised as we deal with this resistance and with the uncertainty of trade negotiations beginning this week, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see us just kind of dance around in here in a consolidation. Now, this could be more wide swinging in that consolidation, but we could just kind of be choppy today. There's very little on the economic calendar. There's uh, very little on the earnings calendar today to move us around. And so as we're waiting for the resumption of those uh, trade talks, there's just that uncertainness that may create just a little bit of pause in the market here. So let's keep a close eye on that today. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY did the same thing, big sweeping move down, didn't quite make it that 200 and then short squeeze whipped all the way back up to that 50 day moving average. Once again, we have the same situation that we're dealing with here in the SPY chart in that we have significant price resistance right across, the, whoops, significant price resistance across the chart. My drawing tools change themselves automatically and so we have these price resistance levels that we need to deal with here in the chart. And of course, this downtrend, which certainly isn't um, ideal. And any kind of a rally up into here, we have to be watchful of that potential 
of a failure if that were to to occur. And once again, with today's uh, very little for the market to react to um, on the calendars, we could see more of a choppy resting period. Very sensitive. Look for the market to be very, very sensitive to news. Uh, Right now, the news is just spinning out of control. They're trying to speculate on um, so many different things. They're speculating on Hong Kong. They're speculating on Brexit. They're speculating on Um, impeachment. They're speculating on um, what the FOMC is going to do. I mean, the news is just running out of control. And as they continue that process, the market is likely to maintain a very new sensitive news driven um, attitude. So watch that closely with very little for it to react to otherwise. So um, keep an eye on that and don't be surprised if we see a little bit of consolidation. Kind of keep in mind that we also here have that 50 day moving average here in the kind of dipping down, providing that little bit extra resistance pressure and our shorter term averages up here are also providing that resistance up in this zone. So just keep that in mind. We've, we're still not out of the woods here yet, but um, certainly the last two days certainly uh, Um, improved um, the picture, the technical picture of the charts. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, pretty darn ugly here overall in this pattern, I believe, because we didn't quite make a breakout here of all the indexes. We weren't able to pop through that resistance high here on the Qs. We put in this shooting star low, a shooting star uh, lower low, uh, or excuse me, lower high, and we continue to move in this downtrending type attitude here on the Qs. Now, substantial rally back right above its 50-day moving average, but let's keep in mind that 50-day is turning lower still, and if we rally into these resistance levels in this chart, that's where we're going to look for that possibility of failure. Just a little teeny tiny bit of bullishness this morning here in the NASDAQ futures as I'm recording this, but just barely just trying to hold in there um, uh, next to positive on that. So let's watch that close. And if we happen to consolidate here, that really wouldn't be all that bad of situation considering we're waiting on you know, trade news and trying to decide what comes next for the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM. This guy is 66666. And as you can see, 50 crossing down through the 200. We have what they call the death cross with that 50 crossing down the 200 and prices still well below the 200 and that 50 day moving average. Not only that, we are still in a marked downtrend, whoops, uh, downtrend in this um, index. So uh, very under loved here for this index. The good news I think is that we're holding this price support and this price is kind of wedging out here in this giant wedge. Will it break higher or lower? I couldn't tell you, but right now certainly not bullish here overall in IWM. The small caps just can't get her together. Let's take a look at um, the VIX. And that VIX this morning, kind of an interesting um, move that we made here. And you guys have seen me talk about this. I was talking about this resistance level right in here on this chart. And actually, I had talked about it as right down in here. But you can see that resistance came into play here, pushing that uh, fear back down here in the market. We still have resistance levels or support levels down in here. And if I go to this chart where I have some drawings in here, you can see that we have some price, significant price support right in here. So it'll be interesting to see as this morning progresses, if we push down into here to hold this support, um, that would be a place where we could bounce off of that. We could also push down through and maybe seek out support in here for that potential uh, bounce back up. So let's watch that carefully. If we happen to hold support here, A little bit of selling pressure may come into the market. A little bit of fear creeping up as we wait on that, uh, you know, those decisions from uh, the trade trade negotiations and the new spin that's more likely to be the the thing that we're reacting to. Let's take a look at uh, T2122. 
T2122, we're still in okay shape here on T2122, even after that massive rally. Um, I hate seeing moves like this where we spring all the way up and all the way back and all the way up because that volatility becomes almost impossible uh, for most traders to trade. It's just too violent. And here we did that swing down and that big swing back up. Right now we're looking at a little bit of a gap down this morning here on the Dow. But let's keep in mind that where we are here in T2122, uh, it wasn't a big surprise that we had that little bit of a rally here being down into this bullish reversal, reversal zone. But now we're up here past that 50 point um, area, 50% area um, in this chart, which means that we have room to go upside. We have plenty of upside room here in the chart but we cannot forget the fact that we have um, plenty of downside room to go and after an 800 point rally in just two days a little rest a little consolidation a little pullback wouldn't be out of the question so kind of keep that in mind as you plan your day forward let's take a look at our economic calendar oops our economic calendar day doesn't have a whole lot going on. Um, we we have a parade of Fed speakers that are continuing to go on. We have a Fed speaker here this morning, and Jerome Powell speaking this afternoon. But other than that, we've got bond auctions and consumer credit. Unlikely to move the market at all um, today. And notice tomorrow as well, um, we have PPI. That's the only thing that can really probably move us around tomorrow. And then, you know, more Fed speak, more Fed speak, more Fed speak. Um, and then um, Wednesday will probably be our... Um, big day that we're going to be waiting on is that FOMC minutes and another uh, parade of Fed speakers. So kind of a light economic development or a, a light economic calendar week. Um, probably the most important are going to be out here, um, CPI numbers. And I think uh, consumer sentiment number may be kind of an important number this week. Um, we need to see those consumers hanging in there after all of this turmoil that we've seen in the market so it may have a little bit more importance toward the end of the week let's keep an eye on that and on the earnings calendar we only have eight companies reporting earnings today all of them um, would be more of the small cap companies unlikely to really move the market around so kind of keep that in mind as you plan your day forward these guys um unlikely to move the market around today so the market will really be left pretty much to its own devices today as um we try to figure out what comes next in the coming negotiations between us and china i you know I, there's a lot of talk out there there's a lot of hope that there may be some kind of an interim deal uh, uh, some kind of agreement that would uh, prevent future uh, tariff increases or maybe delay the in tariff tariff increases that are scheduled for next week and so uh, there's some hope around that and with you know with hong kong you know really uh, you know digging into the back of china and, and impeachment digging into the back of of the u.s there may be that possibility of just some softening on the two sides and say let's at least come to some kind of an interim agreement but i gotta tell you guys that the chances i think of those things occurring are, are relatively slim still just simply because both sides have a major vested interest in this and and i would just be really surprised that both of the leaders being very stubborn are going to uh, back up on uh, their tough talk on negotiation so don't be too surprised if we see a lot of new spin and that possibility of whippy price action and even those big overnight reversals that could occur. So plan your trading very carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, my purpose in these videos is not to predict anything. It's to avoid all the hype and all the spin and all that and to really focus in on the technicals of the chart and help 
um, myself and hopefully others um, kind of have a better idea how they want to approach the market for for the day to calm down a little bit and just look at the technicals of the chart. And if you find that helpful or have found that helpful, please please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave uh, a brief comment. That helps these algorithms show these uh, videos to more folks. We continue to grow the channel and reach more folks. And I truly, truly appreciate you guys. This help. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Um, your comments, honestly, are very humbling to me. I truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up. We're, we're going to have to be kind of careful with some of these trades and some of these charts, but we want to pay attention to them and, and focus in on these good setups that um, if the market is going to be bullish and rally, that um, we could potentially participate in. Take a look at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree on Friday, I mentioned really early in the morning to um, folks in, in right way options. And we were watching this chart as it moved up here. And I had an alert right across here on this chart, as you can see right there. Um, and we caught that really early. Now, Dollar Tree looking very, very strong here, looking good as this moves on up and breaking through this resistance looks very, very positive to me. So even any kind of a rest consolidation or pullback could set up more entry here in Dollar Tree and we're running this nice little trend. So keep an eye on that. We could continue to move on up. We could get a little bit of rest or consolidation to continue up. But let's keep an eye on Dollar Tree. Another one in the same sector that has a really nice looking chart is Dollar General. Dollar General making a nice move on Friday, popping up. Um, still dealing with some price resistance in the chart, as you can see here. But a nice move up. Any pop through or rest or consolidation in here could set up more upside in uh, Dollar General might want to keep an eye on that chart. Been keeping an eye watching Apple. Now Apple's been moving up and moved up sharply here on Friday after holding um, nice and tight in here. They've had some really good sales on their uh, their new phone release and, and things like that starting to perk up here. So Apple looking pretty good and it looks like there may be some more upside here in Apple. Might want to wait for a little pullback or a little rest in here before you jump into something on that trade. But overall holding up pretty well. Um, Apple seems to be um, well, just solid, like it pretty much always is, kind of a solid company hanging in there. Take a look at Fitbit. Now, Fitbit, uh, go from one extreme to the other. This is certainly not a solid company. Um, and as you can see, there's that downtrend, and it's a trend that, uh, something that I always watch for is when a stock breaks above its downtrend and then proves to hold it as support. And that's what we've done here. We've bounced up high, pulled back, held support in here. We do have resistance in this chart to be concerned about, to watch, but any rest consolidation in here, um, we have the opportunity that sets up that upside trend. Fitbit may actually be coming back around and showing some bullish signs here, and we might want to keep an eye on that chart. You've seen me talk about home a couple of times. Now, home still hanging in there, hanging onto that trend. I've got a price alert right in here on this chart, and what I'm looking for is um, that opportunity that home could break through this resistance area and then pop up in here into this gap. So keep an eye on that nice little bottoming formation in home holding up pretty well. So one to keep um, an eye on. You know, there's charts all over the place that, um, you know, ha have uh, varying degrees of bullishness or bearishness. Um, and we're going to have to be really watchful of trades right now with the volatility of the market. Um, one of the charts that I'm keeping a pretty close eye on is NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA has been moving up in this trend. And you can see we've got this downtrend here yet to deal with. But NVIDIA popping up here looking pretty good. I wouldn't be all too surprised if this consolidates in here. But if this could pop out and maybe hold 
up in here. There may be some upside coming here in NVIDIA. Let's keep an eye on that. Some of these tech companies, if we can get some kind of a trade agreement, could turn around and start looking better. So I want to make a reminder here to everyone that any chart, anything that I show in this video is not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just um, it's part of the education. If you put it on a watch list, watch that trade. If it comes up and you can make some money on it, awesome. But don't just rush into anything just because I pointed out in a chart. These are charts that I keep an eye on, keep a watchful eye on, and um, you need to make sure that you're paying attention to your trade rules and your trade patterns um, and following your set of rules. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Once again, if you could do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. I truly appreciate it. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best. Take care.